All right, welcome back. Thanks for joining us here on this Tuesday evening. Another really nice day, really warm back in eastern Montana. A cold front has pushed through the Helena area and also the Great Falls area. 59 degrees. Still was pretty warm out there uh, today, but look at the wind gusting to 41 miles per hour. Great Falls, some clouds increasing. 62 degrees right now. Some wind gusts, 44 miles per hour right now. It had some gusts up to about 50 miles per hour. Warmer in eastern Montana. Look at that. Look at the 80s. 86 right now in Miles City. Then the 70s. Then the 60s. Then the 50s. And we've got 40s in the western part of the state. And most of Montana will be looking at high temperatures back down in the 40s here tomorrow. So warmth. That was nice while it lasted. Strong wind out there. Most of the state or a lot of the states is under a high wind warning through tonight. The good news is that wind will die down through the overnight hours and into tomorrow. We've got kind of a light north wind, colder wind direction that will be setting the stages for cold enough temperatures for snow coming through Wednesday night and Thursday. A lot going on here. Flooding, high winds, winter weather advisory, winter storm warning as well. But we do have a few areas where we've had some Pretty significant flooding. Beaver Creek here between Seiko and Hinsdale. Major flooding and the flood warning continues until Thursday morning here. Colder temperatures will slow the meltdown. Flood warning here for the Milk River where we've had minor flooding come through around the Harlem area, really anywhere. Any of the tributaries heading into the Milk River have to watch out for uh, high waters, especially any of the little creeks coming out of the uh, uh, Bear Paw Mountains here, but uh, Big Sandy Creek, minor flooding uh, here as well. Then we've got the Flood Watch. Flood Watch around White Sulphur Springs, also the Gallatin Valley as well. A flood advisory for water that will be building up here on the High Line, also down around uh, the Mark County area, White Sulphur Springs. High wind warning continues until 3 o'clock this coming early morning. And then the winter storm warning. Yes, that says as much as 18 inches of snow for the big snowies, the high woods, the little belts, the big belts, the continental divide, including McDonald Pass, including the Elkhorns down around the Boulder area as well. And then a winter weather advisory for Great Falls, for Lewistown, for the Helena Valley down through around Townsend, where we could see as much as three to six inches of snow in this area with the winter weather advisory. I know, just had record highs yesterday. Uh, some showers here and even cold enough already for some snow in the western mountains. Big picture showing very quiet weather across most of the country besides this developing storm here. And it is in the developing stages right now. Tonight the wind dies down, may have a few showers here and there, but overall kind of quiet. Tomorrow morning, maybe a little snow around the Lewistown area, parts of Judith Basin County into the Little Belt, Nyhart, Monarch, and even close to Helena in the afternoon, a little snow uh, developing in the higher terrain. May start out with a little rain in the lower elevations. Great Falls about uh, 6 o'clock tomorrow. Could start to see a couple of sprinkles, probably a little later than that. We'll see a little rain develop, mixing with and changing to snow. And look at this through Wednesday night. Maybe some heavy rain initially, but then going over to snow, even in the northeast part of the state. Thursday morning, Glasgow, Haver, Lewistown, Great Falls, Cup Bank, East Glacier, Helen, over to Missoula, down to Bozeman. Everybody dealing with snow, and it will be quite a snowy Thursday here. Snow accumulation Wednesday night into Thursday, a few inches. And then through the day, a few more inches. The snow should be coming to an end as we get into Friday, but this will likely be a significant snowstorm, maybe a little lighter up on the high line here. Glasgow could get clipped with as much as four inches of snow, but half a foot in the lower elevations for places like Great Falls, Helena, down through the Lewistown area. Tonight, 20s and 30s, so cooler temperatures. This will slow the melting process down here. So not that the water will completely recede right away, but talking about less water coming down out of the snowpack. Tomorrow, a cooler day, 40s, couple of 50s here and there, but it's mostly cloudy, and that precipitation really starts to increase later in the day. Wednesday night and Thursday, widespread snow here. 
snows most of the day on Thursday, slushy road conditions in the lower elevation, snow packed over the higher terrain, the mountain passes as well. Friday, scattered snow showers, maybe a couple of mixed uh, rain showers in there. The good news is if you're rolling your head, rolling your eyes, we've got nice weather coming back for this weekend where we should be in the 50s on Saturday and then the 60s for Sunday. But we've got a big snowstorm coming through on Thursday.